Steam, steam or rubbing baskets to the rescue. Enjoy. Position. Just so you know who's who and what's what and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> but where's my adopted son, Robin? Robin Baskins? Please! Oh, oh! And is the new waitress here yet? They should just held out a big sign and said, She's the leading lady! Let's give her a big entrance! <laughs> Please! I'm the one you came here to see. <laughs> the villain. Nobody likes me. <laughs> I see Custard by name. Normally the show should have started with me. But I need a villainess to tell my evil plan to. And she's late. Actually, my normal femme fatale, Selena Slink, she's wonderful. But she developed a guilty conscience and joined a convent and became Sister Mary Pius. <laughs> so naturally, I had to contact the union and have it send over another girl. She should have been here ten minutes ago. But we had to start without her and you all see how that went. Well, at least 
case you know, the Popsicle here runs the most popular ice cream emporium in town. And he runs it with the help of his sister, Nana Peel, who is back in the kitchen spit shining the utensils, as far as we know. <laughs> and then you have Candy Sprinkles and Walt Nuts, who work here. They're probably in love or that sort of thing, if you like that sort of thing. <laughs> then you have Alec De Spoon and Etta Lotta Spumoni. They're regular customers, if you haven't figured that out. Is that everybody? Yes. So, let's get the hero and the heroine out here and get this show on the way. I'm going to go outside and see if I can't find my new partner in crime. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, sorry, mister. I'm used to running everywhere before my deliveries melt. Just get on with it! <laughs> Mr. Pierpont, tip me a whole nickel. That's great, son. If you save all of your wonderful tips like that one, someday you'll own your own ice cream parlor. Oh, I hope so. See, I got this great idea. Tell me later, son. I got prepared today's bank statement for you to run to the bank before it gets crowded. Oh, it won't take but a minute to tell you. Your vanilla ice cream's the greatest, but... Later, I... son. Oh. Okay, Pop. Oh. Oh. If you get a chance, could you look at that door lock? She keeps falling over and locking me in. Sure, sure, Walt. Well. That is all I can eat! Oh. I am full up to the top! Me, who? Can I walk you home, Anna? <laughs> I like that, Alex. We work up an appetite on the way. Mama baked an apple pie this morning. Well, what are we waiting for, my sweet little patootie? <laughs> While we've got a break, I'll give Nana a hand in the kitchen. Happy Candy, it's Nana! We'll get it out. Really, Nana, I warned you, if you didn't stop licking those beaters, you'd get your tongue caught in them. <laughs> I think I can fix this, but I'm going to need a screwdriver. I'll get one out of Pop's tool kit. Excuse me. Can I help? <laughs> what was that? Lightning? <laughs> but there's not a cloud in the sky. It's a beautiful day. It is. Now. <laughs> that was not thunder and lightning. I have been struck by love. <laughs> One look at this girl has melted my heart faster than a scoop of ice cream on hot asphalt. <laughs> what is the cause of this strange sensation I feel near my heart? Did I put the corset stay? Or is this love? <laughs> Pardon my manners. I'm Robin Baskins. Miss... Molly. Marsha Molly. Mrs. Peel hired me to work here in the ice cream parlor. That's great! I work here too! You do? I guess we'll be spending a lot of time together then. Robin? I guess we will. <laughs> Marsha. <laughs> hey, Nana's in the kitchen. Why don't you come on back and meet Pop and the others? All right. <laughs> song and sing The Rain in Spain. <laughs> All right, Eliza. I, 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 
You got one shot, but if you blow it, it's back to the chorus line of Minsky's burlesque. Oh, I won't let you down. I hated that job. <laughs> irresistibly delicious. Is it really that good? Yeah. <laughs> what do you... Leave it? No. Leave it alone. Don't! Don't eat! <laughs> <laughs> you good? Don't let it go! <laughs> I'll buy you a scoop. Thanks awfully. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> ice cream is a smashing success in this town, and it'd be a smashing success in any town across the nation. I plan to steal the recipe and make, ice, make the ice cream for myself. How are you going to do that? There's multiple ways. But the easiest way involves you. So, there are only two people that know the secret recipe besides Pop, and that's his dimwit Adopted son Robin. <laughs> and his sister Nana Peel. What I want you to do is to charm the recipe out of young Robin. Good, boss! The boy. Is he cute? <laughs> <laughs> cute? What's cute got to do with it? You got a job to do. Well, I know, I know. I was just well, 
I suppose you could call the boy attractive if you like the curl. And... But don't you do anything silly like fall for him. Oh, I won't. If I fall, it'll be because I tripped over something. <laughs> that happens to me a lot. <laughs> I'll teach you how to make the Sundays and banana splits and other things later. Thanks, Gabby. They're coming. Sit there. I'll sit over here so they won't think we're together. Just do what I do. You'll be fine. Oh, sorry, folks. I didn't realize anyone had come in. Oh, not a problem. No, not a problem. <laughs> you write down the lady orders and we'll make it. Yeah. Hey, I'll take the gentleman's order if you want to clear the table where Alec and Ed were sitting. What's the deal? Just do what I do, and you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> May I take your order, sir? May I take your order, sir? <laughs> this is an ostrich feather, honey. You ain't talking to a rooster. <laughs> I would like a large ice cream float. I would like a large ice cream float. <laughs> Made with root beer or sarsaparilla? Made with root beer or sarsaparilla? Hmm, let me think. Hmm, let me think. <laughs> sarsaparilla. Hopefully it happens on our time off. Are you all right? Yes, thank you. Nice catch. It was nothing. <coughs> all right, that'll be a large ice cream float made with sarsaparilla. Will there be anything else? No, that's all. All right, that'll be a large ice cream float made with sarsaparilla. Will there be anything else? No, that's all. <laughs> but it might be a good idea to keep some bandages handy. <coughs> <laughs> so what do we do now? Now? We leave and come back when your prey is alone. Huh? <sighs> Look, I know you all don't want to sit around while we eat ice cream. Even though it's really good ice cream. So what we're going to do to move the show forward is we're going to bring down the lights and bring them back up to denote the passage of time. <laughs> Once I steal the secret recipe, I'll build you. A, I'll make you a float big enough that you can swim in it. Oh, but I can't swim. <laughs> of course you can. Then I'll get you an inner tube, and we'll float in it. We both will. Lights. <laughs> This wouldn't be called a blackout. But I see. Ouch! Here, just give me, give me your hand. Where? I got you. <laughs> you know, Carfei. After you pull this off, you want, might want to invest in some hand lotion. Talk about calluses. That's not my hand. Then whose is it? Hey, fuck! You want to let go so I can set the props? <laughs> Okay. Stand still, boss. I'll find you. Just put out your hand. Ow. <laughs> that you? Yes. That was me. That was my eye you nearly took out. But you said. All right. Just come with me. Give me. Okay. I'm right behind you. That is a terrifying thought. <laughs> <laughs> the door should be right around. Yes, there it is. This is worse than blind man's cloth. <laughs>
<laughs> I think I handled that okay. <laughs> You did fine, and with a little practice, you'll be a fine waitress. I really hope so. I really love working here. Now. Do you want me to show you how to clear a table, Marsha? <laughs> that would be delightful, Robin. <laughs> First, you're going to need a tray. Thank you. And then, we take them to the table. All right. She loses. He didn't say Simon Says. <laughs> but they're acting like a bunch of kids. Don't be kids at that. True love does that to you. <laughs> really? True love? I love you, but I don't act like a dopey kid, do I? Maybe you do a little. <laughs> Set the tray firmly on the table. Like this? Perfect! Now take the empty glass and set it on the tray. On the tray. Excellent! <laughs> now we pick up the tray and take it back to the counter. I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> I sure hope so. It'll be a quiz at the end of class. Yeah, we wouldn't want you to cover too many things in one day. Ow! I think we are going to work together again. Oh, Robin, I need to talk to you. I think we're going to work together just fine. So do I. Here's today's deposit, Robin. I'll take care of it. Say it to Pop about my idea. You better hurry. Okay, uh... Um... Uh, looks like we've had a great day so far. Good work, everybody, and remember, don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> <laughs> wooden nickels? I never heard of such a thing. How does that boy think of such funny things to say? He's very clever, as well as handsome. <laughs> you never say that about me. <laughs> There's a reason for that. <laughs> Robin sure is a fine boy. No doubt about it. Well, I better check on the new batch of ice cream before the next rush of customers comes in. Did it stop I mean, your favorite city all day can be a little bit weary. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Peel. Oh, call me Nana, dear. Everybody does. I'm surprised you're not married. I'm sure a pretty young girl like you has a lot of bows. Bows? Oh, no, ma'am. You see, my poor sweet mother, who is a widow, has been in poor health the last three years. Yes, she had a hangnail that plagued her dreadfully. <laughs> I attended her night and day, but there were times I was afraid I'd lose her completely. <sighs> I'm so glad. Yeah, I mean, I think I just, I've had to work to pay the medical bills. They were just so expensive. I can imagine. Brother's wards cost us a fortune. Yeah, luckily, Mother's recovered completely, <sighs> but... During her confinement, there was no time for me to entertain any eligible bachelors or even to meet any any gentlemen callers. And and so, I mean, now I just have to work to pay her medical bills. And Nana, I just want to thank you for hiring me. Your generous salary, five dollars a week, is going to allow me to put a roof over my head and mother's. Without it, I would be forced to put her in the poor old widow's home. Thank you from the bottom. I really must do 
sorry about that. The rope will latch. Indeed, you should, Mr. Sickle. You're turning fairly blue. Call me Pop. Everybody does. Where'd everybody go? Oh, they're in the kitchen. Tell you what, Marcia, I'm going to step outside and warm up a bit. You can call for the others if any customers come in. Oh, don't you worry about a thing, Mr. Sickle. I've learned a lot today. How to, how to take orders and wash dishes and make change. And I've been watching Candy and Walt, and I think I can make a Sunday or a float. Fine. I'll leave everything in your hands. What a responsibility Papa's entrusted me with. I shan't let him down. I must prove my worth to him and to Robin. Dear Robin. <laughs> Hurry back, my love. I swear, it's impossible to find good help nowadays. The nitwit shows up where he's not supposed to be. And now it's impossible to find him. Bear with me. What's the magic door to snow ice? There. Nope. There. The lamp's gonna kill somebody. Now Now the scene is set to resemble a street. Young Baskins will come this way after leaving the bank. This is where Parfait will waylay Young Baskins. Lights! <laughs> Parfait! Get out of here! Let me go see! Oh, Parfait! Look out for the foot! Oh. Young Baskins will come. Is it bleeding? No, but it will be if you don't get back into character. <laughs> Seriously. Young Baskins will come this way, and you will sit on this bench and pretend to be waiting for a trolley. Send you back to the chorus line. Oh, please, Joe Messi. To tell you the truth, I'm not a very good dancer. Really? <laughs> the other girls hated me. The hussies? One night, they ganged up on me, pushed me right off the stage. I fell into the orchestra pit, right into a bass drum. Took the fellows a horrible time to get me out. I walked hunched over for a week. <laughs> Those girls are vicious. Please, I see. Don't send me back to Minsky's. We'll see. We'll see. But remember, sit here, wait for guy. Waylay. Charm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be watching. This is your one chance. But remember, if you blow it, da 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 Uh, don't I recognize you? Your face looks peculiar. I mean familiar. 
haven't met, but I saw you in Popsicle's ice cream parlor this morning. Oh, That's where I work. Of course! Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Parfait Deluxe, and you are? Robin Baskins. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. It must be wonderful to work in an ice cream parlor, especially that one. Popsicle makes the best ice cream in town, from what I hear. <laughs> I like it there, Miss Deluxe. Oh, call me Parfait. Everybody does. Uh, Parfait. Uh, well, I better be getting back. We're usually pretty busy this time of day. Get him! Don't let him get away! But what's the hurry, Robin? Uh, it's such a lovely afternoon. Why, why don't you sit and keep me company while I wait for the trolley? Well, uh... I, <laughs> I insist! <laughs> Let's sit! Calm down! The idea is to flirt, not to hurt! <laughs> well, maybe just for a minute. If I can make ice cream like popsicles, then I can have some any time I wished. I'd give anything to know how to make it. Anything. Relax, this is a family show! I, I bet you know how to make it. Don't you? Well, yes, I do. In fact, I have this great idea. Tell me! Tell me the recipe so I'll, I'll be able to satisfy this powerful craving. The recipe? You want me to tell you Pop's recipe? Yes, yes, tell me! <laughs> I can't do that. It's a closely guarded secret. <laughs> it's a good thing your mother didn't name you Grace. <laughs> What's the matter? Are, are you all right? Oh, yes, yes, I'm fine. I just felt a little lightheaded for a moment. Well, if you're all right, I, I better be getting back. But the recipe! <laughs> Sorry, I've got to go. Uh, good afternoon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Roadhog! Roadhog! <laughs> I can't get to it. <laughs> you let him get away. Some vamp you turned out to be. Sorry, I see. I'll do better next time. Next time? You assume there's going to be a next time. Oh, but you have to give me another chance. Oh, damn. Not on your tin type, sweetie. Yes. But, but, but you have to, please, no. please. Oh. 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 I can't believe she did that. I can't believe you did that. I, I'm real sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll fix it. Well, you better. I'll sew it back on. Not while I'm wearing it. <laughs> Walk away. But, but, I don't trust you with a needle. But will you give me another chance? <sighs> I suppose so. But this time, you are definitely on probation. Do you know what that means? Oh, sure. The headmistress at Martha Washington Academy for Young Ladies, she put me on probation when I burned down the school. But it was an accident. <laughs> oh, that's a relief. It's time for my backup plan. Backup plan? What's that? You are going to go back to Popsicles Ice Cream Emporium and apply for a job. <laughs> you? Yes. They still have a poster in the window advertising for a new waitress. So you mean you want me to take orders? Mm -hmm. And serve customers? Yep. And uh, wash dishes? <laughs> well, it's either that or. Da, 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 da. Stop! Stop! You win! You win! <laughs> And if that doesn't work, I always have this. <gasps> yeah, I like this kid. All right, hey, now you can. Don't answer that. I guess we need to. Scene change. Lights. Here, you get the lamp. I'll get the bench. Yes. Yeah, there go. Stick it over. Hold that light.
I know, but we never made it to the strawberry Sunday before. And you know how wild I am about strawberries. <laughs> I hope I did this right. It's my very first Sunday. changing careers anyway. <laughs> yes, that's that. Well, Father, it looks like we should order some more whipping cream. What? Who oh, no. knows? <laughs> Here's his order. Maybe he'll eat it quickly and leave. Don't count on it. I might just have seconds. Would you all come and see me over here for a minute? I agree, madam. It is a great day to enjoy an ice cream treat, won't you? <laughs> won't you join me at Yon? Oh. You! <laughs> what are you doing here? That's what everyone wants to know. I acted. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is delicious. We have to do something. <laughs> oh, 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 that's cold. <laughs> oh, sir, you must go and take care of your soiled clothing at once. Okay. Don't worry, I'll be back. <laughs> You under sandbag, you won't! <laughs> what a mess! I'll clean it up, gladly. I'll help you. Let's go finish the inventory, Walt. All right. As 
I was saying, madam, won't you join me at yon ice cream parlor table for an ice cream treat? Thank you, kind sir. I believe I will. I'd like to order a Sunday. Holy Toledo, that's not a Sunday. That's a whole week. <laughs> Sick. Sick. <laughs> Get up. Sir, but our business license doesn't allow dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah? What does it say about fish fights? <laughs> I don't know, sir. I'll go check. Call <laughs> yourself, I see. You're right. You're right. <coughs> Sit down. Hold my chair for me. No. <laughs> we give you a chance at the other nine piggies. A gentleman. Should hold a lady's chair. I'll be careful. You better. <laughs> May I take your order? Oh, it's you. Hello again, Robin. I told you I couldn't resist Pop's ice cream. I like what they're having. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> Uh, I guess. <laughs> and you, sir? I have returned for another ice cream float made with sarsaparilla. <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> Who made that thing? I did. Did I do it all right? Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, I, could, I could make another one if you'd like. Oh, no. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll do that. You can make the flow. All right. <laughs> I can't believe we've been eating on this for five minutes and haven't even made a dent uh, in the ice cream. No, I can't make, make much more. I can't wait to taste Pop's ice cream. In a minute, now's your chance. The old lady's alone. Huh? <clears throat> now's your chance to go and apply for a job. Oh, right! <laughs> but don't you dare touch one nut on my Sunday when it comes. I would not dream of it. Now go! Excuse me, are you Mrs. Peel, the proprietress? Why I am, honey, how can I help you? I saw your advertisement for a waitress. And I'd like to apply for the job. You? You don't look like you need employment. Oh, don't be misled by my finery, Mrs. Peel. The once a lady of means, alas, I have fallen upon hard times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, then tell me about it. <laughs> you see, I was once a dancer, the ballet, of course. I wouldn't dream of dancing anywhere that wasn't refined. What happened, my dear? Can't you just imagine Parfait doing the can-can in the tutu? <laughs> Everything was going beautifully when one night tragedy befell. We were performing Swan Lake. I've heard of that one. I was the third bird on the right. We were doing one of those turns. What do they call the Piro, Piro? Piro what? I call them turns. <laughs> Lake. Yes, I was doing a turn when my foot slipped and I fell on the ice. The lake was frozen. Frozen? <laughs> yes. The director set the ballet in Minnesota in January, so he froze the lake. I wasn't the only dancer who fell. There were birds slipping and sliding all over the place. The dying swan almost did. It, it was a disaster. Boy, Parfait makes up a story. It's a whopper. Sadly, when I slipped and fell on the ice, I sustained a permanent injury to my right elbow. An injury? Yes. You see, I can still do this with my left. 
left arm. But when I turn with my right, it looks like this. <laughs> you have to give the girl credit. She has a vivid imagination. Naturally, my ballet career is ruined. That is why I must lower myself to seek employment in your humble ice cream emporium. Will you not tire me? I'm destitute. Oh my, that's the second saddest story I've heard today. Of course I'll hire you. Follow me. Come with me. I'll get you an apron in the kitchen. Consume it. <laughs> Will there be anything else? No, that's all. All right. <laughs> What's where you're going? Between him and Parfait, I'm getting more lumps than a Skid Row mattress. I have your toy. <laughs> Give that stage manager a tip. Hey, Pop, we're running low on the ice cream. I wonder why. I'll get more from the freezer. Uh, say, Pop, uh, about my idea. Later, son, we have customers to serve. I've got this great idea to increase business, but Pop never has time to talk to me. Really? I'd love to hear your plan. Really? I'd love to hear what you think of it. Maybe we could go out to eat after work and I could tell you what I have in mind. You mean like, like a date? Well, I guess you could call it a date. <laughs> I'd love to. Call it a date? You can call it a coronation as long as I get something to eat. <laughs> Why did I have to fall in love with the most unromantic woman in the world? Unromantic? You want romantic? I'll show you romantic. <laughs> Sorry about all this romantic stuff. <laughs> For some reason, it's needed. I'm with you, man. It's, it's gross. Well, is it quit time yet? Not hard. Firing time because we don't get out to work. Here, you wash and I'll dry. <laughs> Somebody let me out. What has the old man gotten himself into this time? We've been so busy. Here, let me take that. <laughs> I sure wish I had a basketball. <laughs> we start up the game, and then we can use it as the hoop. <laughs> I have a better idea. I just heard a lady telling Nana how she lost her job with the oh, yeah. ballet. You can learn how to dance on your tippy toes. <laughs> Maybe, but you take your place. <laughs> Very funny, you two. I better go in the kitchen and run some hot water on my arms before they freeze like this permanently. <laughs> hey, speaking of pop, I think I'm about to. Me too. I'm afraid we've met our yeah. man. Let's go. Okay. Well, we can still walk. Yeah. A new, another new waitress. Yes, well, you can take this on out the window now. I think we have enough staff to cover all of our customers. 
Yes, ma'am. So this is Candy, and that was Walt. Hi, and this is Marsha. She's new too. Hello. I can teach you how to make a sundae. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I'll do that. You can teach her how to make a float. You make lovely floats. And this is my brother's adopted son, Robin. We've met. Oh. <laughs> you two know each other? Barely. <laughs>
Laney. You don't like where I got it? You can move it yourself. <sighs> Just do it already. Don't give me any back talk. I've got a purse. Really? <laughs> yes, really. <laughs> I'm wearing a hat. That didn't hurt at all. Oh, really? <laughs> For Pete's sake, Lady, there. The things are in place. Don't hit me no more. Get off, you oaf! Okay, okay, I'm going. <laughs> I think I broke my leg. Better you than me for a change. Lights! If you're tired, we can rest here on the bench. Uh, over there on the bench. <laughs> sweet of you to invite me out to dine tonight. I'm just glad you said yes. Marsha, I know this is sudden, but when you came into Pop's ice cream parlor this morning, I was struck by a sensation I've never felt before. I think I'm in love with you. Oh, Robin, how wonderful. You see, when I first saw you, I was struck by the same, same sensation. I... I think I'm in love with you, too. You are? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that's great. I guess that means we love each other. Uh... I had a funny sensation once when I met a man. Turned out to be the flu. <laughs> Marsha? Yes? Would you mind if I, uh, kiss you? Oh, I've been hoping you would. <laughs> I think I'm gonna faint. <laughs> Gosh, you're sensitive. Yes. Robin, if you'll excuse me for a few moments, I feel the need to be alone where I can compose myself. All right. I shan't be but a moment. Dearest Robin. <laughs> wow, I had no idea Marcia would react so strongly to my declaration of love. I guess I have a lot to learn about women. Indeed you do, Robin. Parfait. I'd be happy to teach you. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm waiting for the trolley, handsome. It's already gone. They stopped running at sundown. Too bad. Still, if I had left, I wouldn't have heard you declare for Miss Marlowe. You heard that? Yes, I have good ears. <laughs> I used to. <laughs> well, it's just as well you know of our feelings for one another. I'm flattered you find me attractive, Miss Parfait. But, <laughs> but, uh, Marcia is the love of my life. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, I'm sure. After one kiss? <laughs> I wish you hadn't done that. <laughs> These lips belong to another. Can't blame a girl for trying. <laughs> Under the circumstances, I don't see how I can continue working at the ice cream parlor. Seeing you, wanting you every day, yet knowing your heart and lips belong to another. Well, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Let's just say it's one of Cupid's cruel jokes. I'll just return to the parlor and slip the note under the door. 
door, telling Pop and Nana I was called away to tend to a sick relative. No one need know. I left because of a broken heart. A broken heart? I never, I wouldn't. I... Say no more, Robin. <laughs> Gosh, I really do have a lot to learn about women. I ate the ice cream while I was a snack. Now let myself back in and find the recipe. Won't Icy be proud if the so-and-so ever showed up? With someone with you? It sounded like parfait. Uh, yes. Robin, there is lip rouge on your mouth. Her lip rouge. Was parfait here? Were you kissing her? Uh, well, uh, parfait was here, and there was some kissing going on, but I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Well, well, Robin? Well, they were attached to my face at the time. <laughs> but she just caught me by surprise. Uh, I see. There you were, minding your own business, and her lips came out of nowhere. <laughs> Do you expect me to believe that? Uh, no, uh, I knew Parfait was there. I just didn't know she could move so fast. <laughs> Marsha, please. I'm innocent. I can, I can prove it. Oh. Parfait's on her way right now. When I told her you're the only one I'd ever love, she said she'd have to give up her waitressing job feeling the way she does about me. Parfait doesn't strike me as the type to give up so easily. It's true. She's on her way back to the ice cream parlor right now. Come. I'll show you. Well, Marcia, I love you. Oh. And only you. Come with me. <laughs> All right. Be my son. Ooh. 
I'm gonna kill the Baskins boy. I can't believe Park Fade pulled it off. I'm going to have to give her a bonus. Did you find it yet? We're here. I'll just get my. I oh, it. My key it was right here. I. Look, the door. It's unlocked. <laughs> well, I'll get the lights. Robin, I don't see a note. Where's the note you said Parfait was going to leave? I don't know. I wonder if she came back. Robin, I wonder about your missing key. The freezer door, it's a jar. That Parfait loves ice cream. I'll bet she's helping herself to a few gallons of severance pay. You think Parfait would steal? Any girl who would try to steal another girl's boyfriend would stoop to anything. <laughs> Come on, let's catch her red handed. <laughs> Recipe? What are you doing with Pop's recipe? Oh, uh, and how did you get in here? Did you steal the key the way you're trying to steal the secret recipe? Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> the guilt is written all over your face. Marsha, get the police. You bet I will. Stop it! <laughs> It is you. Your your hair's all white. You've aged. <laughs> it's lost. I see got locked in the freezer. It's all he deserves. He's a crook, and so are you. I am not. I'm an apprentice. <laughs> You're not even that. You're an amateur. Why on earth did you tell him you were coming back? Well, you can't expect me to think of everything. We will discuss this later. Give me that. Now, as for you two, I have found that the perfect place to hide someone is in the freezer while we make our getaway. In well, you can't do that. You were only in there for a couple of hours. If you lock us in overnight, we'll freeze to death. Not my problem. <laughs> I know, but at least now I have a reason. <laughs> Parfait, are you just gonna stand there and watch him murder us? I don't know. I see you didn't say anything about murder. <laughs> Listen, Parfait, don't go soft on me now. Stay. <laughs> Parfait. You're not a bad girl. Not really. Help us. I don't know what to do. Look, I'll make this easy for you. Either you help me escape with the secret recipe, or I lock you in the freezer with those two goody goodies.
dreamy. Yeah, but if you're gonna be open nights, I can take a soda. No, <laughs> well, we're closed. We missed all the excitement. Robin and Marcia caught these two to try to steal my ice cream recipe. Hand it over. Wow. The recipe? What would you do that for? Well, I was going to steal this recipe and open up ice cream parlors around the nation. If it's the best ice cream in this town, it will be the best ice cream in any town! It was a great scheme, I see. Thank you, I'm very proud of it. <laughs> we'll I'll take your plan and tell you how it goes, won't we'll you, brother? Of course we will. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. While we're throwing out new ideas, Pop, how about listening to mine? Later, sons. We gotta get these two scoundrels to jail. <laughs> Stop! I've been trying to tell you for a whole week. Calm down, son. I'm sorry. You're right. You've worked hard to make this business a success. I should have stopped and listened to you. Stop. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to show you. I was going to wait for next tomorrow, but I, I thought I'd... I thought I'd try my brainstorm out myself. Here. No time, no time like the present. Try these. I love ice cream. This is fantastic. I've never tasted anything like it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Ah, it's delicious. Oh, shit. <laughs> Heavenly. I can't believe it. It's even better than a normal recipe. What's your secret? Well, you know how everyone likes their own ice cream toppings? Well, I thought. Why not mix some of those flavors right into the ice cream before we freeze it? You've got chocolate, you've got banana, and you've got butterscotch. Mine tastes like walnut! Mm. Mine tastes like caramel. Or caramel. <laughs> Opening stores everywhere, serving ice cream in all flavors. Ice cream made from my recipe. And if we stayed open late, like 7 or 8 o'clock? <laughs> I never heard of such a thing. <laughs> uh, if we do all this, we'll be rich in no time! Yeah. Yeah. Put on your own pantaloons. <laughs> Please you have a nice long rest. I ache from head to toe. <laughs> oh, Robin, how wonderfully everything has turned out. The crooks are on their way to jail. Pop's business is going to explode like crazy. And, and we met and fell in love. Yes. Oh. Robin, Pop's going to need help managing all of those businesses, and I'm sure he's going to depend on you. I think you should ask to see if you can put your, your name on the sign outside. 
Robin Baskins. I mean, it doesn't sound quite right. I think you're right. Still, I mean, he's going to need an awful lot of help, and, and it was your idea to put the flavors in the ice cream. I think you're right. Let's go ask Pop. Let's go find it. All right. Thank you.